Hello, welcome. In this video, I want to give a brief introduction to function composition, show you an example and a visual, and then show you how it might be applied to a situation. Now, this means f composed of g of x. And another way you might write that is imagine you had a function f. And instead of the input being x, the input is the function g. So g of x is actually the input of f. How does that work out? Well, just imagine that you had f of x equals, make a linear function, 3x minus 2, and that g of x is x squared. We get some interesting things. If I said, what is uh, f composed of g of x, it would be f with an input of x squared, and then you get 3 times x, that's where your input goes, 3x squared, right? I'm inputting x squared as the input. Before x was the input, goes here. Now x squared goes there, minus 2. And then if I said, well, what is g composed of f? Well, you compose g with f of x. So your input would now be 3x minus 2. And then you would take 3x minus 2 and square it and simplify it. And that would be an entirely different result. And the idea of what's happening in function compositions, I like to think of different arrow diagrams. Imagine you have a domain A. And there's a function uh, that f that takes you from a to an output b. So here's your input x, here's the output f of x, and their function takes you from x to f of x. That's what f does. But there's another function g that takes you from those outputs there and brings you to a new location which is g of x. So when we compose our functions, this story right here, where you first apply the function f and then you apply the function g to the output of f, that is what is being said by g of f of x. Right, it's starting with the function f of x, and then gets you use the function g to get a, a new output. And what's interesting about this diagram, what's so useful is, it helps us recognize that something interesting is happening. The outputs of f of x, whatever those outputs are, those are the inputs for the function g. So when we consider our function g, there might be certain restrictions, like every other function. If you're taking the square root, for example, you might not want to take the square root of a negative number. So you must consider the range of f as the domain of g, and that might impact the way you write and think about these functions, and you'll explore that in this chapter. So you have a sequence of functions and these compositions of functions, a function based on a function, why? Right? Well, it's fun, and mathematics is amazing. So let's look at an example to understand how this might apply. Suppose you work at a store, and you're, you're getting a salary. Everything's going great. You get 5% commission on sales. Commission on all sales over, let's say, a certain amount. All sales over $10,000. OK. So if I wrote a function for my commission for, as a percentage of my sales, it would be 0.05, 5% times the sales. If I wanted to, to write a function that tells me how much have I sold over 10,000, it would be all of my sales minus 10,000. Now, there are different compositions of functions. And we can say, well, what is f of g of x? Does that tell me how much I'm going to make? What does that do? Versus g of f of x, g composed of f. Let's look at what those mean. So f of g of x, or f composed of g of x, would be this, f of g of x. And that would mean we first um, take our sales, subtract 10,000 first. Right? It's based on x minus 10,000. We get some number, and then multiply that number by 5%. And that is, in fact, our commissions. Right? And this, of course, this equation could have been written from the start, but I want you to see how compositions can also be used to reach the same result. So here, this will work. In the other case, it doesn't work because what are you doing? You're taking g and you're plugging in f of x first. So you're taking 5% of your sales first. You're getting some amount of money. But then what would, what would you be doing? You would, you would take that percentage, whatever that is, and then subtract 10,000. So that would be... <laughs> that would be a little bit punitive, right? You 
um, I guess you get 5% commission, they have to give the company back 10000 and that would be kind of a depressing prospect because you would lose $10,000 before you even start to gain anything, right? Or it means something else. But the point is to see that function composition uh, has clear application and possibility. And that is, this is really just the beginning. Thanks.